Modern Warfare 3 details are coming in little by little, and today we've got a few more leaks to discuss here on the channel as to what we may be able to expect when it comes to some of the game's launch. Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer reveal and beta are less than a month away, so we'll have some confirmations here soon, but today I want to run down these leaks in regards to a few lesser focused on but still key functions within Modern Warfare 3 in the year upcoming. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below on what you're hoping to see with Modern Warfare 3. Any weapon, map, mode, camo, you name it, I'd love to hear your thoughts below. If you enjoy the video, you find it add-on insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing instead of doing all things modern warfare 3 x defiant and more as we've got a packed fall coming up for fps games and finally check out my friends over at g fuel for upwards of 30 percent off your order with code espresso on things like tubs of hype sauce ms melon hibiscus tea and starter kits all linked down below a little bit more on that later for now though let's jump into it so today's leaks come from, once again, the most recent sourcing of El Barberto, formerly Bob Network UK, whose track record as checked out is pretty dang good as of late. So we're going to at least hear these out. But as always with any leaks, make sure you take it all with a grain of salt. These could be things that happen exactly as reported or maybe not. But again, with Bob's track record, let at least hear it out. All of these subjects here today are, well, not necessarily like game-breaking things that'll probably push you over the edge of either liking or disliking the game, but integral features returning and not returning that I think are definitely worth mentioning. So first up, let's talk about detailed stats potentially returning. According to Bob, he stated, rumor detailed weapon stats last seen in Cold War and Vanguard will be returning in Modern Warfare 3. This, this is something that again, not a real big deal, but Good lord, does it make everyone's life easier to know exactly what your weapon is doing. Like, yes, we'll have 150 HP now, so the math for multipliers and such will be a little different and maybe take like two seconds to calculate rather than one, but seeing specific damage values, what each attachment does to range, bullet velo, ADS, and reload speeds, among a litany of other things, it just is so helpful to know. Like, boot up Modern Warfare 2 right now, look at the absurd amount of muzzles or grips. How many say the exact same thing in terms of horizontal and vertical recoil control, or something like like that. There are at least half a dozen that will say an identical pro and con as another attachment, yet there's zero way to differentiate between them and see what the true difference really is. If you had detailed stats, you'd probably know it's just like a scaling difference, like one attachment offers more recoil mitigation at the cost of a heavier penalty to ADS speed or something like that. Kind of like a plus one, minus one versus a plus two, minus two type of deal. But again, it would just make life so much easier. I don't think that I've heard any whispers on this before, like this is the first time I've heard a about this topic with Modern Warfare 3, so I don't know if it goes one way or the other to corroborate this a little further, but with it being in Vanguard, with it being in Cold War, I'd like to think that this game potentially very well could have it. I mean, they built it on the architecture of Modern Warfare 2019 for Vanguard, so who's to say they can't do that again with Modern Warfare 2's architecture for Modern Warfare 3? So. Fingers crossed this is something that, again, is just a nice quality of life thing. Again, doesn't really necessarily affect the gameplay loop itself, but it's definitely helpful to the users, and especially when you have things like weapon tuning, where it does get convoluted. Still to this day, one of the funniest things to me, not necessarily like outright comical, one of the funniest things to me was during the Modern Warfare 2 pre-reveal briefing that press and creators ended up having with Infinity Ward, they basically stated by like, hey, we want this game to be the most accessible and easy to understand game for all players that there's a way to craft your play style for everybody the very next slide they went into weapon tuning about how you can go in and edit every single attachment once you complete a weapon mastery and fine tune it to your liking like that is the opposite of being something that's very easy to understand for the casual player so when you have detailed weapon stats that makes those kind of things more accessible fundamentally now that said if we are getting detailed stats i do kind of want to break away real quick and hope to say that i hope we get some major improvements to the firing range i'll say it i still think X Defiant in an unreleased build has one of the gold standards for a firing range. What Infinity Ward did with Modern Warfare 2's range is sure functional, but it feels like such minimal effort. Like it's a type of here's the firing range, shut up about it now type of deal. I'd love to see an expansion of the air quote like world of the firing range with more to do, recoil testing plots, distance ranges, adjustable targets, and most importantly, even if the other things can't happen, I hope that there's at least visible damage stats added to the firing range that we have now. See how much damage a shot does in each location of the body with the option for plates to carry over into such in war zone like we have now. Like I'd love to see exactly how much damage I do to the arm versus a chest or head. But anyways, not to stay on one topic too long here, another rumor comes from Bob here where it said that enemy name tags, which have been in every game except Modern Warfare 2, will supposedly be returning in Modern Warfare 3. Again, 
almost like sounds stupid to say almost as dumb as modern warfare 3 will have guns but like that's one of those things i'll never really understand why infinity ward took it out personally i think this is great for visibility which is kind of ironic because the whole push to move to dots over the head i think one of the key items was visibility like names not getting in the way of things on screen which was to me bs because we still have things like loadout drops flag markers and domination and much more that just totally take over your vision on your hud at long range and the opacity of stuff is just way too high that it genuinely blocks out players if they're perfectly situated behind them but anyways this would give you an indication as to there's an actual enemy whereas maybe beforehand with a dot you had to slightly double check which could get you killed and finally the last thing we'll touch on is that apparently combat pacing is not returning bob stating unsurprisingly combat pacing from vanguard is not returning in modern warfare 3 which is i'm curious as to why architecturally maybe it could be a hurdle for how infinity war to set up the game's ui was it something like that or maybe something like third person modes or nvg exclusive playlists that it just didn't garner enough player base and say like assault or tactical modes that it started to stretch lobbies thin i don't think we'll ever find out the answer to that but this one admittedly is kind of a bummer pretty upset about that one because I do think that that was one of the best features about Vanguard and that might be saying something but honestly like that was one of the things that if you look at Vanguard objectively speaking I don't think that you can call combat pacing bad among all the things that that game may have done wrong or right combat pacing I think was one of those things that was like oh we could totally bring that back people like that that was really cool but obviously if that isn't possible Sledgehammer really aren't too weird of playlists like if we have a continual 10v10 or 12v12 playlist it also wouldn't be the end of the world to me just something that gives me the option to change that level of chaos on maps doesn't even have to be like a shipment 24 7 10 v 10 or something like that i'd do it in regular rotations of maps like a 10 v 10 12 v 12 and if gunfight ever comes back in season one or season two or something like that in modern warfare 3 a face-off 6v6 playlist to have just absolute chaos with respawns on those very small maps but that one again face value a little upset about but it also isn't the end of the world but end of the day, that's what we learned about here as of recently. Like I said, we're honestly pretty close here to Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer reveal and what we'll learn about with COD next. So this will either be confirmed or denied one way or the other. So we probably won't have to be waiting too long to hear about what's up with all these for the time being. But that said, that's some interesting re-editions and some interesting items not returning. So let me know your thoughts down below on these items. That's what we're going to call it. So before we wrap everything up, make sure you got my friends over at G Fuel Code Espresso getting you up to 30% off certain items in the month of September. Hype Sauce Tubs, Hibiscus Tea tubs, MS Melon tubs, and even starter kits as well. So if you guys want to grab a restock, try something out for the very first time, now is as best a time as any with code Espresso linked down below in the description. But that's it again. Drop your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of these leaks? What are you hoping to see out of Modern Warfare 3 upcoming in the next few weeks, leading to COD Next and the multiplayer reveal? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it out on insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 3, X Defiant, and more when it comes to a stacked FPS lineup here this upcoming fall. I'd love to have you in the community, but for now, thanks so much for watching. Might as well espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.